Listen, yesterday I did a a stream for the members in my Discord, and I told them there's nothing for me to like about Jasmine's lower time. I mean, I'm telling you guys right now, there is absolutely nothing for me to like about Jasmine lower time frame. Uh, and let me say, let me tell you exactly why there's nothing for me to like about this. Uh, first of all, you know, every single indicator on the lower time is bearish. So I guess what I'm trying to say is we have to be a little bit more patient. Uh, what I'm trying to say to you is that we have to be a little bit more patient. And let me show you why there's nothing for me to like about Jasmine's lower time. Uh, if you look at, let me get rid of this moving average first. All right. If you look at, this is the four hour right here. It's very clear what's happening. This is a higher high. This is a lower high. This is a lower low. This is a lower low. There is nothing to be bullish about from here. All right. There is nothing to be bullish about when this is what Jasmine is doing. Lower highs and lower lows, that's a classic downtrend. All right. There's nothing that comes out of that. Every single one of these rallies, all right, as long as we continue this pattern, is going to short live. Every single one of these rallies right here, as long as we continue this downtrend, is going to short live. So this is not good. Uh, second, you know, price is below moving average. There's nothing that comes, listen, there's nothing that comes out of the price trading below moving average. So that is another reason for me, you know, not to like the lower time. You also have short-term moving average below long-term moving average. So this is my 21 and this is my 50. If I get rid of the price of Jasmine, you know, let's get rid of the price for right now. There's nothing that comes out of this. There's nothing good that comes out of something that looks like this. This will be your death cross right here. All right. And listen, I guarantee you, if I go back throughout the history of Jasmine, you know, every time, I mean, this is the full hour, of course, every time you have the blue line below the, below the green line, the price is going to be below. So if I bring back the price of Jasmine, I guarantee you the price of Jasmine is going to be below moving average. I mean, that's exactly all right. So there's nothing good that comes out of, you know, something like that. Uh, so those are three reasons why, you know, nothing that on the lower time that excites me right now. Uh, but what I would say is this, if you are a long-term holder, you are a long-term holder and you believe in the project, this is, this is a great buy opportunity. You dollar cost average until this is over. All right. Listen, you, Long-term holder, you don't want to be chasing after the price. No, you do not want to be a buyer when the price is going down. You are a buyer when the price is, you know, going down. When the price is going up, you simply just stay on the sideline and, you know, continue to watch your portfolio go up. When the price is coming down, that's when you jump in the market and, you know, start to, to DCA. All right? But the lower time, listen, there's nothing... There's nothing that looks good right now. There is literally nothing. And because of that, we are going to continue to pull back until the short-term trend is over. All right? We are going to continue to pull back until the short-term trend is over. Now, let me give you guys, you know, some hope right here. I don't see Jasmine going below this right here. I do not see Jasmine going below uh, maybe like 1454. All right. I don't see Jasmine going below that. If we do drop below 1454, I don't think you get more than a 10% drop from here, from 1454. I don't think you get more than 10% drop. And I think the worst case scenario would be, yeah, I mean, that's a 17. Listen, I don't think we get a more than a 10% drop. But, 
to me, these will be my targets. All right, one, two. So the question is then, how do you approach something like this? Well, let me tell you exactly. Uh, you DCA, you dollar cost average. So let's say you have, I don't know, 200, uh, let's go with, with $100. Let's say you have $100 to put in Jasmine. You put 20% in here. You put 20% down here. You put 20% here. All right? And you keep the rest just in case, right? Just in case it goes lower and you add more. And if it doesn't go lower, you know, if, if it starts to recover right here, you add, you know, the rest and your average price is going to be somewhere around here. If you started to accumulate up here and you got in down here and you add more back here, your average price is going to be somewhere around here. Nothing to worry about. Uh, for some of you guys, probably you got in a little bit late and you're probably down right now. Uh, let me tell you. Most of us have experienced the same thing. You know, in 2023, at some point, we were down about 50% on, uh, on our Jasmine position. So whatever little pullback you're experiencing in your portfolio, yeah, trust me, we we all been there. And just got to hold, you know, just got to hold a little bit, a little bit longer until the pullback is over. And this is your best strategy right here to DCA. I, I cannot promise you where the bottom is going to be. Of this pullback i have absolutely no idea and if anybody's telling you that they know exactly where the bottom is going to be they're just lying to you because listen if they knew exactly where the bottom was going to be uh listen they will be filthy rich by now because if you can predict the bottom of you know pullbacks they could have predicted bitcoin at fifteen thousand, and they could have gotten exactly at fifteen thousand dollars right they could have predicted the bottom of solana eight dollars and they could have gotten exactly at eight dollars. They could have predicted the. Listen, if anybody's telling you they know exactly where the bottom is. Listen, don't don't listen to them because they're just lying to you, like straight up lying to you. Uh, so, anyways, look, the lower time is pulling back. There's nothing good from the lower time frame right now, but if you zoom out, the weekly still looks very bullish. The monthly still looks very bullish. So because of that, listen, I haven't sold a single Jasmine and my average price is literally down here. I have not sold a single Jasmine. Not because I don't like taking profits, but simply because the probabilities of Jasmine going higher, much, much higher, is more than the probabilities of this you know, being the top of this bull market. I listen, I will worry if price of Jasmine goes below my 21 weekly moving average. I will worry if Jasmine on the weekly will start to see something like this. And until then, I'm bullish on Jasmine and I'll continue to talk about buying the dip. Until I'm proven otherwise, all right? The, the chart has to prove me that this is no longer that type of environment, that we are no longer in the environment where we buy in the dip. There's going to be time where buying the dip is a terrible strategy. In 2022, I was very clear that buying the dip was not a strategy. And, and I told everyone, stay away from Jasmine because I knew that a 90 plus percent drop was coming. And I was absolutely right. But in 2023, I was also very clear that it was time to accumulate Jasmine because this is a project that was going to perform very well in 2024 and in 2025. And I was also absolutely right. And I think I'm going to be right again. That there's no reason to worry about Jasmine right here. All right, all right. So that is Jasmine, guys. Another project that is also pulling back, you know, but nothing really to worry about is Polkadot. All right, Polkadot is down 10% right now. But if you look at the weekly time, I mean, listen, you got, you know, you got a project that is going to $23 uh, before a weekly pullback. So 
on the lower time, even on the four hour, like there is really n- nothing to worry about when it comes to Polkadot. So this is the opposite of Jasmine. So if you look at Polkadot right here, Polkadot is pulling in higher highs and higher lows. Uh, price is above moving average. Uh, every single indicator is, is actually bullish. Long-term moving average are below short-term moving average. This is the complete opposite of Jasmine. So if you look at Jasmine for our time frame, it is the opposite of this. Uh, but anyways, look, uh, Polkadot looks really bullish. I think this is a great place to get in. Like this was a great place to get in, you know, around nine, ten dollars. Uh, even right now, I think is a great place to get in. Uh, and I think this little pullback, whatever this little pullback is, and I think we are going to recover, you know, all of it uh, pretty soon. Yeah, the weekly looks good. Uh, I mean, the monthly looks super. 